Now we're cooking. It's a coach, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, running back Dalvin Cook. He's back and coming off a big game a weekend ago. Coming up, we'll see the visiting Chicago Bears taking on the Minnesota Vikings. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon God and Charles Davis. And we find ourselves at the stadium that played host to Super Bowl 52, the wondrous U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. The scene a short time ago, this crowd decked out in purple, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. We're ready for football, folks, as the Vikings get set to do battle with the Chicago Bears. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And, Charles, you look at this Vikings ball club. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. And if you look back to last week, it was all about their defense. Anytime you hold an NFL team to single digits, that's saying something. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Bears, they are hot as can be. Winners of eight of their last nine games. I don't know if you call this start a surprise exactly, but they've proven that they're going to be able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Here's Trubisky to the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. The Bears on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and six. Now Trubisky. And he's got Miller. First time they've looked his way in this game. He comes through picking up the first. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Right. 
Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Pitch out to Howard. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Trubisky to throw on second. On the right side, this is Miller. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Trubisky now hitting on two-thirds of his passes. Ten for 15 so far. First and ten. On the handoff, this is Howard. And past the 30 down to about the 27. And just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Second down, Trubisky. Eluding the pressure right. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. On first and goal, Howard. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Trubisky. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Holding offense. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that can be the make or break difference on a play. This time he had to grab a jersey in order to make the play happen. Got caught for the penalty. A crucial penalty there as the hold backs him up for another second and goal. Trubisky will throw. And that'll be incomplete. 
We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Pass interference. Defense. So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but contact and pass interference. And now where does the ball get placed? Yeah, at the one-yard line. One-yard line. They gave up excellent real estate on that one. That's going to work really, really well for the guys who threw it. They come out here in the eye. Trying to punch it in with Howard. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Jordan Howard punching it in from a yard away. And the Bears will extend their lead. A good, sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with, with great dispatch. Parkey with the extra point, and the lead grows to 10-0. So that drive consumes nine plays, all told. And finishing it off with a touchdown run was Jordan Howard. Here's Parkey now, set to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Again, it's Cook. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let it pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Back-to-back right, -back good plays have them on the move on first down. First and ten, Cousins. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Well, some news that gave us a chuckle, and we could all use that around the holiday season. Josh Johnson, a great story. He was back home in Oakland when the Redskins called to see if he'd like to join him for the remainder of the season. So how did he get to know his new teammates? Well, what did he do? He turned to the Madden game, Charles. Yeah, and that's how you learn who they are, right? Learn what they do, have some tendencies, get some ideas about their speed and what they do well and maybe what they don't do so well. And it really helped him acclimate and got himself a big victory in week 15 against the Jacksonville Jaguars. How about the bloodline of Josh Johnson, though? Also related to Marshawn Lynch of the Oakland Raiders and Marcus Peters of the Los Angeles Rams. Pretty good company. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. On third down, Cousins. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. 
They have not gotten him going at all. Tried to spark something there with a longer throw, unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him the football. Here's Matt Wilde now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at the 20. They'll begin the drive with Howard. And it's a room to maneuver. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. On first down, they're going option left. And he's across the 40, three extra yards to the 43. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. take this one up close to about the 45. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. It's Bears football here. They also have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. The offense on third down tonight, two for five to this point. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Trubisky keeps it himself. There may be a little bit of an element of surprise there. Third in inches and they go quarterback sneak. I still feel like this is a play that often is reserved for fourth down. This time, Trubisky will throw. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. It's a gain of seven, and it'll bring up a second down. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. A give to 
Howard. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. They go play action here on first down. They'll rifle this one deep right side. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. Pass interference. Defense. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And no, he lost the football. but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Allen Robinson from three yards out. And the Bears will add on to their lead. And man, Charles, talk about zinging something in there. Those gloves, they help with one-handed catchers. The fun stuff, any padding for a rocket like that? One would think so, but I'll guarantee you this. After that throw, his hands will hurt later. Not right now in the moment. He's just feeling good about catching it. Yeah, a little stinger, but a touchdown. Now Parkey for the extra point. Parkey adds the extra point, and that makes our score 17-0. So that drive goes eight plays, and it culminates in a touchdown for Chicago. Here's Parkey now, set to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And out now come the Vikings. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Cousins now to throw on first down. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Now Cousins. And he'll find Thielen on the right side. 
And he's brought down after a very nice game. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. down here's the run with cook and he's got it across midfield and into bear territory in on the stop the former georgia bulldog roquan smith i call that play a success a nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down a very solid gain on that play cousins now on second down and rudolph has it left side and he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The Vikings on third down. A pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. This is third and four. Cousins. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And some room to work. Pass the 20. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. As we continue to advance in the NFL, as people continue to scout players, they really don't care as much about body types as they care about those guys who can make people miss, run through tackles, and gain all that additional run after catch. Anybody who has that ability, they want them on their team. So now, following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. They'll try to run it in with Murray. And a nice pick up there as he'll take it from the 10 down to the five-yard line. What a game this defense has played. They're pitching a shutout, so it'll be fun to watch down the stretch to see if their defensive coordinator continues to be as aggressive as he's been all game long. On second and goal, Cook waiting in the backfield all alone. He'll get it up the middle, and he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. No gain on the play there, and they're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. Able to hold him to just two yards, and now it's fourth and goal. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. And what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. A field goal does you no good, so they're going to stay out there and go for it on four. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this.
So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They're looking at a fourth and goal here as they search for a late score. Yeah, maybe a final chance to get on the scoreboard here. This is fourth and goal. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Khalil Mack leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rearview mirror, don't they? I mean, you're exactly right. Being able to string together these drives that end up in points, it's almost like a run in basketball to create that distance, and they're on a really big time one right yeah, now. It becomes contagious, doesn't it? It absolutely does, because oftentimes it translates to your defense as well, because they're excited about getting the ball back for their offense that's playing so well. Well, they are clicking right now. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it, because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these I'm types of situations, down. players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and ten. Again, it's Howard. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. So on the big tight end, holding. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. The tackle goes there to Linval Joseph. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. take it all the way down and just take the delay. Delay of game, offense. So that'll back him up five. Still second down. Juke, good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be a third and about 13. 
But looks like they caught him off guard on second and very long by running the football. All right, we always talk about tendency breakers and counters and doing things opposite the green, and that worked very well for him. Picked up really nice yardage, but they still have a lot of work to do on third down. The storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is. And what an accomplishment because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full team. There's a lot of pride that goes into shutting out an opponent. And how about that zero on the scoreboard for them going along with those zeros in the time column, too? That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. From Minneapolis, so long, everybody.